in this lecture we will study about linear search so what is linear search linear search is a very simple search algorithm in this type of search a sequential search is made over all items one by one every item is checked and if a match is found then that particular item is returned otherwise the search continues till the end of the data collection so before going to the algorithm let's see an example let's say there are an array of some integers sorted or unsorted any array integer okay uh, now let's say we have to search for 10 then what happened in linear search it will start with with the first element in the array okay and in one by one searching each ele element it will go to the last element of the array and if that a uh, target element is found in between then it will return that element and if not found till the last iteration of the loop then it will uh, terminate unsuccessfully saying that the element is not found okay now let's search for the 10 now it will search for 4 if the, it is the target element no so it will uh, in next loop it will increase the value of i and it will start from 5 now 5 is the target element no it will again increase the value then it will search 8 it, it, is, it is also not the target value then it will again increase the value of i 9 9 is also not the a targeted value then it will again increase the value and it will again increase the value now it is the last element of the array and it will search that 10 is equal to the target element yeah and our target element was set to the 10 so it will uh, search successfully and return the value 10 that is the last element of the array now let's say if we want to search the fourth in this array then it will return 4 in the very first iteration of the loop okay now let uh, see the algorithm for linear search it says the set i to 0 what i have done that there was an array 5 8 2 10 then we set the i to 0 that 0th element we set the i because we start searching from the 0th element then li is equals to t let's say we have to search for 2 then we set that uh, target element t is equals to 2 now see that li this li is equals to target element 4 is equals to 2 no it is not if it is the search element terminate successfully if the target element was 4 then it will terminate it successfully because we got the target element but yeah it is not because we have said that let's say we are searching for 2 now if it is not then it will increase i by 1 because now this is not the then it will increase i by 1 now i will point to this element now if i is less than n what is the n n here is the size of the array if i is less than the size of array yeah because we have not reached till the last element of the array then go to the step two what is step two step two is uh, such uh, it if this element is equal to the target element no it is not then will increase i by one it again increase and i will point this element now i is less than n yes i is less than n because n is the uh, size of the array and this is the last element here the size of the array is 1 2 3 4 5 here n is 5 and index of this array is 0 1 2 3 4 so it will terminate when i will be equal to 5 because if it is less than 5 then we will go to step 2 now it will again increase the uh, count of i by 1 now i will point this in step 2 what li is equals to t, to t or not here li is 2 and t is also 2 yeah it will match and the search terminates successfully and it will return to the value of i or it is in the third index of the array it will return the i value of i okay let's say we have, we, if we were searching let's like say target value was 11 or 11 then it is not present in the array then it will go to the last till the last element of the array and after that the i will become equal to n and it will uh, terminate unsuccessfully saying that the value is not present in the array now let's see uh, the code for the linear search uh, in the function name linear search we pass the array we pass the size of the array and the target value what we want to search we start the uh, for loop by from the value of i equal to 0 we start searching from the 0th element of the array and we go till the size of the array and increase i value one by one in each iteration 
if our uh, uh, value of array is equal to the target value then we return the index of the array and if we not found the that target value in the whole array then we it will terminate unsuccessfully saying that the uh, targeted value is not found in the array now let's see the time complexity of the linear search at worst case time complexity of linear search is order of n because uh, let's say there is a, an array of size n 1 2 3 4 uh, up to n there is an array of size n and uh, there can, in the worst case what will happen that our target value is the nth position in that case we have to search for each uh, n positions for that target value so at the worst case the worst case time complexity will be order of n and in the best case the time complexity will be order of uh, one order of one is uh, not it will be present in first place order of one is at the constant time constant time is not depending on n whatever be the size of the array let's say size of the array is 100 and uh, our element is in fifth position so it's not depending on the size of the array it can be 100 200 or 1000 our element will always be present in fifth position so it will take constant time in the best case okay it can be present in first position second position at, at any position so in best case it will take constant time and in average case it will take order of n by two times which is nothing but order of n time only and in space complexity of uh, linear search is order of one that is constant time okay thank you